87 Ricer here, part three of riding in Owensville, Missouri. Now, I'm gonna jump on to the main road here in town. Now, Owensville has a stoplight. Well, it has two stoplights. No, three. Three stoplights. One of them, which we are coming up to right now. The other one is right up by McDonald's. And then the other one after that is over there by, like, Walmart. So, three stoplights in total uh, for, uh, for Owensville, Missouri stoplights. Now this is the one of the main, this is like the main artery road in Owensville. So when you come out to Owensville, a lot of you that are familiar with Owensville knows exactly where this is. Like I said, this is one of the main arteries of traffic, uh, constant driving for Owensville. And I'm going to take you on some side streets of Owensville. We're gonna we're gonna ride over to uh, we're gonna ride over to the to the big uh, park to the big park the city the big city park where they put on the uh, Gasconade County Fair. That's where we're gonna go. So that way that way this road leaves leads all the way to Cuba, Missouri. It goes all the way to Cuba, Missouri. This way takes you back towards like uh, Rosebud. And if you took a left, it takes you to Drake. And if you take Drake, you go all the way out to Herman or Swiss. And uh, so yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Come on, come on. Give me a green light. All right, green light. So yes. We're gonna hit some side streets up. Oh. I'm gonna. And I take a left hand right here. I should have just taken a left earlier, but I didn't. Because I didn't use my head. So. These are some other side streets in Herm or <laughs> in Owensville. A lot of nice houses. So earlier when I was riding, when I left Herman, I was at a full tank of fuel. And by the time I got to Drake, I was just almost past half a tank going on to the empty side and I needed to jump onto the highway for another eight miles to get into Owensville and I watched that fuel gauge sl will quickly deplete from uh, being at half to damn near empty. I, I literally came into Owensville on just at the tip of E, like just as it's getting ready to go on to E, is when I came into Owensville. So I really thought I was gonna end up pushing this moped to a gas station down these side streets. So, yeah. A lot of beautiful houses. A lot of beautiful houses. So I'm gonna take you to the park where they do the, where they do their, uh, where, they, where we do our Gasconade County Fair. Lynn Flex West like those I can back into it real easy <laughs> I'm a pro so this little field so this field right here is where they do like the demolition derbies and your uh, your rodeos and 
um, tractor pulls. It usually happens in this area right here. This is where this is where they do their rodeos and tractor pulls and all that stuff. Right here. Demolition derbies. What not. concession stands. This is usually where they do a beer garden down here. Beer gardens down there in that field. And up through this way is where they usually do their livestock, like cows and and goats and pigs and in in these livestock bins. It's all your animals. This is just a little walkway. This is where they do their uh, their uh, auction, their barn auction, farm auction, that building right there, or that facility. This baseball field right here is where they utilize your concerts, like your, um, it's where they put the main stage back off in the distance back there. Um, of course, you can sit up there in the bleachers or with chairs, and yeah, they usually use this uh, field for concerts. And then, uh, of course, all your setup for your for your uh, vendors and all your rides are in this gravel lot here. A lot of your rides are over in this area right here. They set up like your merry-go-round or your uh, your gravitron and your just a lot of areas, a big area for a lot of rides. Yeah, that's. That's where this is. A neon corridor. Owensville. Owensville Water Department. And so yeah, a lot of these streets have, I don't really ride on a whole lot. So you're just, we're just going, we're just riding around, taking in the scene on some of these side roads. These are all new side roads that I just don't really cruise down a lot. I don't, I don't really ride down them. <clears throat> yep, I recognize this area. Those two houses right there, my brothers used to rent those houses. <laughs> I about went through the speed bump there, or the speed dip. I should say speed dip more than anything because they're little dips in the road that cause you from going really fast. Driving like a loony tick. The crazy thing is I remember my brothers and my sisters living in some of the house like in a, a few different houses throughout throughout um I remember them living in a few houses throughout my time when I was growing up. I'm talking when I was at like the age of seven, eight years old. But I don't remember exactly which houses they were. I just remember some of the locations a little bit. Some of the locations. I'm almost positive that house right there where one of my siblings used to live. I'm almost positive. I don't know if it is. In, but yeah, it used to be this. I know I used to have a sibling that used to live in this house. And I remember that for sure. But that's not right for me to show that. It ain't my property. I don't need to show that. But yeah, 
Yeah, I remember my siblings used to live in the house like that. Let's go down this street, take a left. Take a left, take a left. And go slow through the dip. Oh yeah. I guarantee you, if I had if I had enough time, and I mean enough time, I could really cover almost every inch, almost every inch of Herman. I mean, almost every inch of Owensville in just a few videos of riding around Owensville. That is a blue house, very blue, a very blue house. Looks like they destroyed something back there. Looks like they removed something that was back there. has a lot of lawnmowers and a lot of bicycles. It reminds me of what I would have been doing with my mopeds and my motorcycles. Except for he's got bicycles and lawnmowers. Yeah. I like that orange one back there. So, I actually used to do like lawnmower videos. I used to fix up lawnmowers um, and I used to sell them and so I, for a long time there was a period where I would just buy lawnmowers and fix them up and resell them and uh, so seeing all these lawnmowers reminds me of what I was doing back before I actually fully went into making YouTube videos and uh, and uh, what not but yeah I used to buy like riding lawnmowers and push mowers I would go to like these garage sales and for like stuff like that I'd give like five bucks for it because they were like you know there was a chance they weren't gonna run and that they needed some work so I would buy them for like cheap I would fix them getting run getting them running I would mow my yard with them a few times and then I would sell them and I did it for I did it for fun and then I would put I would put a bomber auto decal on every one of my lawnmower would fix up there's a nice old truck down there might be able to at the tip of my finger. Nice old truck. I'm not gonna go down there. I wanna be on like private property or, or anything. But yeah, that was uh just seeing just seeing the lawnmowers reminded me of what I did. Uh, and I actually thought about doing some lawnmower videos, but at the current at the current deal that I'm doing. I don't have any lawnmowers that I need to fix up and I haven't really bought any lawnmowers that need fixing because I just haven't I just haven't had the urge to do it or the, or the, uh, the, the enjoyment to go out and find those lawnmowers and fix them up and show them or sell them and then show how I'm fixing them up I just haven't had that uh, love of doing it like I did it was something that I did for fun, and then I just, I lost interest. And then I, you know, like I said, I thought about redoing it, but until I, until I get that willingness to go out and buy a, a, a lawnmower that needs work, I just haven't. Uh, what I actually did was, there was a spell, there was a spell that I actually had with, um, I actually seen a lawnmower. It was a Honda push mower. It was sitting out in the streets of my hometown. And, and this is just like about two months ago, maybe a month ago, give or take. The lawnmower was sitting in the street. And it was a Honda lawnmower. And it looked like a self-propelled where you just push, push a button or you pull a lever and it moves itself and all you do is just walk behind it 
and uh, I really thought about taking it because I figured if it's on the curb in the street then it's going to be thrown away so I was going to come back and take it later and boy was I wrong I waited a few hours I came back with my car I popped open my trunk and this is like after I had moved the lawnmower into the grass I actually picked up the lawnmower and I put it in the grass golf cart sitting there for a while but I moved that I moved that lawnmower from out of the street and I put it in the grass next to a tree and I figured if I come back later that it was going to be uh, that it was up for grabs and so I came back later popped my trunk and I did actually start the lawnmower pretty easy I mean it was a very easy it was a one pool and it fired up and I thought, who's going to throw out a one-pool start lawnmower? And uh, just as I got ready to wheel away with that lawnmower, the guy that actually owned the lawnmower, he, he came out and uh, he took it away. He wasn't yelling or anything at me. He, it wasn't like he was being a jerk. He just came over and pulled it away from me and said, uh, he didn't really say anything. And I, and I told him, I said, hey, man, I said, I only was going to take it because I thought it was being thrown away. It was out in the street and I moved it to the, uh, I moved it to where it was in the, in the grass and not in the street. And, uh, like I said, he didn't, he didn't say anything. He just took it away from me and put it right back where it was. And, uh, yeah. So I was like, well, that's not, and I, I, I figured out pretty quick. Well, he's not getting rid of it. And so after that, the, the love of just going out and finding the trash, uh, the curbside free lawnmowers, just that, that kind of left. I was like, well, I've been out of the game so long that I can't even figure out what a curb pick or a curbside uh, pickup free lawnmower is anymore. And so I just haven't retried. Now a lot of times I can go to the like yard sales and if people have a decent lawnmower that, that they got marked at like 25 bucks or something, you know, I, I'll haggle them down. I'll be like, well, I think this lawnmower is worth this much and this is what I got on me. And I'll get it for about 10, 15 bucks. I'll, I'll make it, uh, I'll give it a little spruce up and I'll give it a paint job and then I'll, I'll, I'll sell it. <laughs> and that's, that's honestly what I did. All right, so we're coming into the industrial section of Owensville right now. This is an industrial section. I've actually had to pick up a Lakeside Book Company before. Uh, this is called Lakeside Book Company. I actually picked up here before, and I had to get into the door. Um, I had to back into... Um, when it comes to the doors... I backed up into I backed up into one of these doors right no it was over here. Yeah. Right where these two right where this truck with the orange trailer and that truck that's already in the on the door. That's where I picked up before. So plenty of room. Plenty of room to to maneuver and get yourself situated to go inside of the uh, doors over there. Um, do -do 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 -do. We're gonna go up this way. Like I said, I'm in Owensville, Missouri. This is part three of my riding around Owensville. I'm gonna go back the other direction and head back into the side streets. That's what I like about uh, 
that's what I like about um, a lot of places in small towns is they got they have parking lots where you can park your trucks and you can stay the night there. Uh, that, that's what I like about small towns with um, with adequate parking. They don't. They, they allow you to. They allow you to park overnight, if need be. Kill a few hours. Wait. And if you couldn't kill a few hours there, you could definitely ride down one of the side streets and park on one of the side streets and just kill some time there. But, anyways, I'm gonna make this the end of part three. So far, all my uh, Owensville riding videos are about running about 20 minutes maybe just a little bit over but usually right about 20 minutes so i'm going to end it here part four part four coming up and uh yeah part four coming up peace love y'all bye